Should you risk ruining a friendship by dating your friend? Risk? What risk? Yeah, exactly. What risk? Because if you have a solid enough friendship with this person, then <laughs> you, you should be confident that you'll be able to be friends with them again in the future, even if things go completely awry in the relationship. And if you're not confident that that's necessarily going to be the case, but whether it's because your friend you don't think would want to be your friend after a terrible breakup or because you don't think you can handle it, well, just just get over it. Just, like, forgive each other for whatever happens in the relationship and be friends again down the line. We're talking about relationship technology, the evolution of relationships, radical relationships, radical love. And the three components of radical relationship love is radical communication, radical forgiveness, and... Uh, Honesty, radical honesty. That's how it's all going to work out, friends. Yeah, just approach the situation knowing that you might get hurt, knowing that your friend might get hurt, because that's what usually happens in relationships. They usually Heart end. expansion happens. Heartbreak, heart expansion. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, just don't look at it as, like, as this loss, this impending loss of this friendship that you've built Opportunity up with Opportunity to grow. <laughs> we've been on this planet having relationships long enough that it's time to take it to the next level it's time to have meaningful relationships that are built upon a foundation because if you're not if you don't have a foundation a solid foundation well eventually a friendship is. is what you're talking about right yeah that's the foundation it's just like you know gotta be based on something or it's just doomed to fail anyways at least if you're friends first you have something to fall back on to take a step back to because oftentimes people are like they're in a relationship they don't know what to do now what do you do now i mean i still love you but obviously we can't be together and then people are just like i never want to see you again but if you were a friendship you can if you have a friendship to begin with you can always go back to that and then yeah. and you'll realize it's not like it's a step back really i mean it's, it's, and it's not going to be the same as it was okay. before the relationship because you you did something to change the dynamic. But it might even be a closer friendship afterwards. And if, you, like you say, if you're if you're really friends, like then you'll always be friends. Maybe not always. You might need to take a break from each but other. I mean, in the end, yeah, in the end, like you'll come back to each other. And if you still are in like similar places in your lives and you have stuff in common, then I mean, which you may not, because friends drift apart in general. But like if you guys ought to be friends during this period of your life than you will be eventually. Mm -hmm. Everything works out for the best. So just fuck your friends. Fuck your friends. And I'm sure the burning question on everyone's mind is, are Winder and I fucking each other? And and why aren't Winder and I? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> why you aren't away? I mean, no, you didn't, you didn't give anything away. Well, <laughs> well you stay tuned for the next yet. episode. <laughs> Was that even any good? <laughs> it wasn't as good as the other one. The other one was so good. Cool.